bippity boppity boom anyways he subscribe thumbs up whatever let's just get right into it I I got a question I have a question okay so y'all still in the 2022 playing with people's money y'all still in the 2022 playing with the people's money don't you know niggas is getting shot over hurt feelings and stepped on shoes and y'all just still pushing your luck okay so let's just get right into it y'all know what to do subscribe like blah 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 whatever so, but I just okay so let me look, look let me tell y'all something okay so i was scrolling through the tiktok as one does in their free time and i came across this woman she said <laughs> and she's sitting over here crying and normally when the people on there crying I, I i'm not gonna lie to you i scroll past i got time for all that i you know Sorry for you, but I, I ain't about to listen to all that. Pray for sorry that that happened, or I hope you learned your lesson. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, this time I was compelled in my spirit. I said, let me see why this lady cry. Well, okay, look, make a long story short. So the lady, she a little DoorDash driver or something, right? And she's crying because she picked up the little groceries or whatever, took it to the little person's house who ordered the stuff, and, and the person had the nerve to, to say that they didn't get their stuff. So DoorDash closed the woman's account because it looked like she stole the person's groceries when actually she didn't. And it was a, it was a, it was a, a pretty pricey order. This woman, this was her, her, she had, she was in between jobs. This is how she was support, supporting her children. This was how she was making ends meet, trying to feed her kids. And somebody came on live, said they didn't get the order, so they didn't have to pay for it. You know what I'm saying? Apparently, this, this is a thing. People are ordering stuff and saying that they're not getting it. And then DoorDash is forced to close people's account, close the driver's accounts. And apparently, a lot of the times, uh, you can't prove that you actually dropped the stuff off. How bold of you. If you're not afraid of karma and doing that to somebody, this woman's sitting here crying because she can't feed the kid. You know what I'm saying? It, look, update on the woman. It, uh, of course, the TikTok blew up. DoorDash ended up figuring out, blah, blah, blah. The woman got our account back. But I, I just can't believe you trifling people. It's people out here that's really that trifling. If you're not scared of karma, why don't y'all... Y'all do know that these people know where you live, Right? You're not afraid of somebody rolling up on you, man, what you said? You ain't get your stuff. You ain't get your stuff. Man, kick it. Like, you, y'all not, y'all not afraid of people rolling up on you? Like, hey, what's up? Like, y'all, why y'all do people like that? You know what I'm saying? I just, I just thought, I just thought it was so wild. I just thought it was so so bold. And, 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 you know, people get desperate they ain't got no money. And it seemed like they was having a birthday party, whoever it was, because the girl said she ordered a whole bunch of drinks and pops and waters and all this other So she heard this, heard this was probably some little ghetto person trying to have a little little birthday party, a little cookout or something for their little, for their little snot-nosed children or little broke-down baby daddy or something. And I'm just like, You could go to the Dollar Tree. You could and just, everybody just drink tap water. Why would you say they didn't get it? E even if you didn't know that that person was going to potentially be able to lose their job on DoorDash. Why, why, why risk? These people really be out here for themselves. But look, this is a warning. Stop lying on these damn DoorDash people. And these DoorDash drivers, apparently, y'all was eating food or something in the car. The little Uber Eats and stuff. Stop getting people's food and digging in there and getting fries. If you want something that bad, most of the time, if you ask people, hey, can you order extra fries? Can I have some? Most of the time, people going to be nice and let you have it. If not, look, I don't know what to tell you. But I know they start stapling the bags and stuff closed. So if you get your food and shit ain't tied up or stapled or taped down, because any more now you order some food or something, it take you 10 minutes to get in the damn bag because of the way that they got the stuff wrapped up like Fort Knox. So um, if you get your stuff and it ain't, you know what I'm saying, maybe they might try to get in there and get a little chip, get a little fry, a little piece of sandwich, you know what I'm saying? Uh, stop doing stuff to people's food. Stop lying on these people. You ain't got no money. You don't get off the apps, man. 
people out here trying to make a living, and y'all act like people ain't out here crazy, dude. People out, people out, they will come whoop your ass. You, you, they know where you work, they know where you live, they know where they drop the stuff off at. And you just, you don't care. Do you got hands? You like, if they won't pull up, then let them pull up. I, I just, I don't know. But anyways, I just want to know what, what y'all think, how y'all feel. What's some st crazy stories you heard about the DoorDash and the Uber Eats and the Instacarts and all them little stuff like that? Y'all like my little Miss Cleo? Call me now. Girl, I see some ass whippings in some of y'all future. Y'all to be ashamed of yourselves with your little ghetto trifling asses. You really? Anyways, I'm gone. I'm gonna keep scrolling on the top. Anyways, I'll catch y'all next time. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a little comment. Leave a little like. Subscribe. All that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, bye.